let's start with this walkthrough and this walkthrough we are not going to hard code any code because we have already done this in a statistics course in this we are going to simplify each and every line of code we are going to see through everything and break out from the scratch of it let's start by importing the data the libraries that we need so let's import pandas and numpy let's call out our data and let's check out our data so our data looks quite well so we have name age sex parts ticket fare cabin embark now let's create a box plot to check out what are the outliers in the data so from the theoretical aspect of iqr that is the interquantile range we are getting the box plot and from this box plot we are getting whatever the outliers are so you can see that some uh, the ages of above 65 somewhere above 65 are quite the outliers so we have to do something to handle this outliers now you can also use a scatter plot to check this out so let's check the scatter plot you can see that above 70 it's quite an outliers somewhere we have only one point so let's look into some of the tactics by which we can handle our outliers just remember that this is how our outlier looks like so above 65 these are the outliers we have to handle it out so there are four ways trimming imputing discretization and censoring trimming means removing all the values or whatever the outliers are just removing them out imputing is we treat outliers as missing data and we apply missing data imputation then we have discretization we place outliers in edge beans with higher or lower values of distribution and then we have another tactic that is known as censoring it's capping the variable distribution at the maximum and minimum values let's start with trimming in trimming we are getting the lower point and the higher point that is the upper point we are first of all we are getting the iqr that is the interquartile range from the quantiles and then we are getting the lower limit and the higher limit and from this we are checking from this particular line of code we are just checking out whichever the outliers are what this is doing is it is checking out the complete data set where the age is greater than upper you can always check out the value of lower and upper let's print it out print lower and let's print upper and then let's print the outliers so it will be giving me an array so np always gives me back an array let's run the cells so you can see that the lower over here is minus six which is quite fishy because we cannot have an age that is minus six but okay let's take this out and the upper range is the, the highest is 66 so wherever it's less than minus six we will just make that as true or that is uh, from where we are getting and wherever it is above more than the upper value we are just going to make it true so this is how it looks our data set okay so Okay, let's rerun this cell by removing this line of code to increase the readability. Yes. Now let's remove this. Let's remove this. So these are the ranges. Okay. Now let's check out the box plot. Now you can see that all the outliers have been removed. That's one of the tactics where we are just removing out all the data points that we have that are the outliers over here. you can always check out the data you can see that the data will be quite less so you can see data describe it's a typo so we have 416 so particularly a large amount of data has been moved. that's one of the drawbacks in trimming Let's look into one of the way that is censoring. Censoring means setting the maximum or the minimum of the distribution of an arbitrary value. Let's jump into the direct factor of it. So we have a threshold point and whatever we have above that point, it will be just marked at that point. So let's say the upper limit is 20 or 50. And whatever we have above 50, they will be replaced with the value 50. And whatever we have less than 10, it will be replaced with the value of 10. So the same thing, I have kept lower as 10 and upper as 60 over here and we are just replacing the outliers. Whatever, whichever value is, up, is greater than upper, okay, that is greater than 60, it will be replaced by upper and whichever value we have less than 10, it will be replaced by lower. 
Let's check out again the data set. We have the outliers. And now tada, the outliers have been removed. Same thing we have interquartile proximity rule. So we have the IQR range. We get the IQR range and then we get the lower limit and the higher limit and then we replace by the lower and upper. You can always check the lower and upper. Let's check out the lower value that is minus 6 and the upper will be 66. And then let's get out of the box plot. So you can see all the outliers have been removed. We have one more way that is the Gaussian approximation way where we account the standard deviation and the mean. So let's get the lower and upper. Again, we are getting the lower limit and the higher limit from above which everything will be replaced with upper. So using this formula, that's how we can get out the Gaussian approximation. Now let's use quantiles these are something which i personally use a lot in my day-to-day -day life rather than using the above methods which again are very important and it totally depends upon your data but as for the first perspective whatever i have to use i use this quantiles method what i do is i check whatever the 10 percent to set the lower limit what i do is the percentile 10 percentile of the data wherever it is and for the upper 90 percentile of the data is so if i run this cell and check lower and let's check upper so upper is 50 so you can see that upper limit is quite somewhere over here in the 50 and the lower is that is 10 percentile of our data is somewhere in 16 over here so that's the reason we have this and then we are replacing with the upper and lower value so these are the ways how we can handle data other two ways are imputing and transformation these two techniques are beyond the scope of this beginner course of machine learning but again if you want to google them out you are feel free to google it out imputing is another technique to handle missing data we just check out the outliers and what we do is we replace the values by using the missing data concepts that we follow in the previous videos Transformation is something that is again beyond this course and it is quite hard to explain you just as now. You need a lot of transformation techniques are already available in the market by various researchers and pioneers. So one of them is log transformation which I use a lot but you don't have to use currently in the initial stages. So you can google them out if you want to check or if you are curious enough. That's it for this video. We have known how to hand, handle the outliers. In our next video, we are going to start with binning.